example, this is your red die and this is your blue die. Now, what we want is that how many possible outcomes are available and what exactly are those outcomes? Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. So, this is how you can do that. So, for example, if I get a 1 as a red, so if you see, uh, once again, I'll use the red pen to make you understand. So, every time I'm getting a 1 here, but the possibility of uh, blue will change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Satya, have you understood? Mr. Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. So, the sheet that I have sent you, the sheet I have sent you, now that is a standard sheet which is used. We say that uh, these are, this table is a list of all the possible outcomes which are available when two fair dice are thrown together. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, no. So, this is how it is read. That, so for example, what I have done is, this is my dice 1, this is my dice 2. I will only, I can only get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on both the dice but as a combination these are the possibilities which are available so for example unlike your textbook what i have done is i have built this i have built this table saying that when i throw dice one these are the possible one 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 and i have changed the possibilities of the second time so have you understood what i have done yes sir. but the result will remain the same it doesn't matter have you understood yes you can compare this table with the one which is mentioned in your book and you will understand what i'm trying to say so this is one 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 and in this case, this is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. But the result would remain the same. So, any doubt? No doubt. Now, this is the table that uh, when we start doing questions, this is the table that we will have to refer to when we are doing two dice are being thrown together. Any doubt till here? No doubt. I will show you the kind of question that we will be doing. So, for example, Xavier throws two dice together. Nia throws two fair dice and adds the score. Now, the second possibility. So, for example, in this question, what is the probability of scoring two fours? So, two fours, the possibility, if you look at this uh, table, there is only one possibility which is there. Satya, any doubt? No doubt. So, the probability of having two fours would be 1 by 36. Any doubt? No doubt. So, similarly, the possibility of having no fours would be 1 minus 1 upon 36 is equal to 35 by 36. Any doubt? But if I have to answer this C part, exactly one four, exactly one four, then I'll have to look at my table and then I'll see 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6. Here I am getting exactly 1. Similarly, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4. Do you see 4 anywhere else? Mr. Yes, Satya. So, what will be the probability of having exactly 1, 4? You just have to count these numbers. Yeah. No. How many total numbers are there? There are... There are 10, sir. There are 10, na? So... One second. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 upon 36, is it correct? Mr. I'm sorry? I didn't understand how did I do 36. Okay. The question that is being asked is that you want to calculate the probability of exactly 1, 4. Have you understood the question? Yes. Now, in all these instances, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are 10 instances where you will get only 1 4. Any doubt? No doubt. And number of possibilities are 36. Total possibilities are 36. So, answer would be 5 by 18. Any doubt? No doubt. Now, again, this question can be uh, twisted. And again, we will have to make uh, another possibility table. Mia throws two fair dices and adds the score. Have you understood? Okay. So, if she adds, then we will have to make another table. It is always uh, divisible that you make another table because the you have four or five parts of the question so it is better that you spend some time to make the table so i have added the whatever were the possibilities i have added the numbers have you understood what i have done see all that you need to do is you need to just add these numbers so for example this would be two this would be three this would be four this would be five this would be six this would be seven this would be 12, this would be 11. Satya, have you understood? Mr. Satya, have you understood? So, to make the addition table, we just have to add these choices that we made earlier. Have you understood, Satya? Yes. So, this would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or let me take another example. Let me take an example here. So, you just have to add these. This would be 11, this would be 10, this would be 9, this would be 8, 7, 6. And once you have added, you just have to make another table like this. 
So can we be able to do this? Yes. Okay. Now the kind of question that they will be asking you is, so for example, the first, what is the smallest possible total? So, what is the possible smallest possible total? Mr. Satya. Sir, just two. Two is the smallest possible total. And if they yeah. ask you, what would be the largest possible total? So twelve. Twelve is the largest possible. Any doubt? No doubt. Yeah. Now, if they let us say they ask you, uh, how many total of three are possible? Satya. Total of three. Okay. Listen. Yeah. yeah. Any doubt? No doubt. Now, if I have to find the probability of a total of three, it would be two upon thirty-six. Any doubt? No doubt. Because a total of three which are possible are total of three possibilities are this and this one. So the total of three would be two, and the total number of total number of possibilities which are there. Oh, because there is repetition also, so we'll have to change our answer. Have you understood what I have said? Yes, sir. See, there are repetitions also, na? So the we'll have to check the denominator, the options, the total options. Uh, let me write it like this. Satya, have you understood what I have written? See, the totals which are available are either two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Have you understood? Yes, sir. So these are the number of totals which are available. So the number of totals which are available. If we count these, these would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven totals are available. Any doubt till here? No. And if the question says that how many? Uh, we want total of three. Then the number of uh, options where three is a total of three is available is two. So the probability would be two by eleven. So can you doubt? No doubt. So you know this is what uh, is being asked in your question. I'll show you the question. So first part is what is the smallest possible total? You have answered that to be two. What is the largest possible total? So the largest total possible is twelve. And this is what I was discussing that when you do this. Your possibilities of total are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So these are four, eight, eleven. But the number of a total of three, which is it is available two times. So the answer would be two by eleven. It won't be one by eleven. So can you doubt? No doubt. Okay. Now see, they can have uh, another combination like this, where they say that yeah, in this also actually. They are saying throws two dice and adds the number together. So again, we'll have to refer to this table only, where we are adding the two, where we are adding the two results. Any doubts with that? No doubts. And that is why I have sent you this PDF so that whenever you are answering these kind of questions, one you should be able to make a table like this, and another you have this uh, ready reckoner with you. Have you understood that? Yes. Sir. Now, see, let us try to do these questions one by one. So the first question is, what is the what is the most likely possible total? And the B part is, what is the least likely possible total? So have you understood? Yes, sir. So we'll have to find what is the most possible total and what is the least possible total. Can you tell me, sir? No, sir. Two is least. Uh, two is least possible. Sir, we have to count the numbers or the value. So these are the totals which are available. Okay. These are the okay. totals which are available. Now, what is up? Yeah. Least would be two, and uh, most would be seven. No, least would be two as well as twelve. Have you understood? Okay, sir. Any doubt? No doubt. So, the most likely possible total. I'm sorry. Okay. B. The B part is which is what is the least likely possible total? We have actually answered the B part. The least likely would be two and twelve. Any doubt? No doubt. And the most possible would be seven. Most possible. Is the A part that would be seven? Any doubt here? No doubt. Sir. Now, in the next part, he is asking us the probability of seven, a uh, two seven less than seven, 
odd number, prime number. Let us try to do this. So, first he is asking us about the probability that the total would be 2. Can you tell me the answer? So, probability that the total will be 2, only one option satisfies our condition. The total number of possibilities which are available is 11. Any doubts at that? No, no. Okay. Your D part is, find the probability that the total will be 7. Now, we just have discussed that 7 is possible in all these cases. So, there are 6 such cases and the total number of cases which are available is 11. Any doubts? No, no. Right. In E part, he is asking that the total will be an odd number. So, we have the options 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, odd numbers are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, how many odd numbers are there? Satya? 3, 5. So, the probability would be 5 by 11. Any doubt? No doubt, sir. And then he is asking you the probability of a prime number. The total being a prime number. Now, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number. 11 is a prime number. Any doubt? No doubt. So the probability of having a prime number, the total as a the total as a prime number would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 upon 11. So any doubt? No doubt. So basically, if you find if you look at the question, find the probability that the total would be 2. That is we calculated here. This was our answer. For 7, this was our answer. Less than 7. No, I think uh, less than 7 I skipped. I found this odd number first. So, this would be the F part. This would be the F part. And G part would be prime number. The answer, yeah, the answer would be 5 by 11. Satya, have you understood? Yes, sir. Now, if we have to find this E part, E part, less than 7. So, these possibilities are there. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Answer would be 5 by 11. Satya, any doubt? No, no. Okay. Then if you look at the next question, Razi throws two dice again. The same table has to be referred. Two dice find the probability that the numbers are same. And the second is the difference between the two numbers is two. So now, when we refer to our uh, table, sorry, when we refer to our table, what he wants is that the numbers should be again two dice are being thrown. Find the probability that the numbers are same. Now the numbers are same. In six instances, have you understood? Yes, sir. So, in six instances, the numbers are the same. And the number of options, the total number of options which are available are 36. Any doubt? No, no, sir. The second part is the difference between the two numbers is 2. So, what we will have to find is now that we will have to calculate the difference between that numbers. Only those will satisfy whose difference is 2. So, here the difference is 2. And uh, here the difference is 2. Here the difference is 2. Here the difference is 2. So I should see 4, 6 and 6, 4 also. These would be occurring in pairs. So if 2, 4 is there, I will see 4, 2 also. So have you understood the logic? Yes. The number, the difference of the two numbers should be 2. So if 3, 5 is there, then 5, 3 will also satisfy any doubt. No doubt. I have made a small mistake here. This should be 5, 6. Can you see this? This would be yes. This should be 5, 6. So, this mistake you will have to correct. So, the difference between the two numbers, the number of possibilities which are available is uh, is 8. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Out of total possibilities of 36. So, the answer would be, when I cancel this, the answer would be 2 by 9. Any doubt? No, no, sir. See, Satya, these are a bit tricky questions. They are not difficult questions. They are a bit tricky. So, when you are starting these kind of questions, you will be a bit confused. But after a while, they will start making sense. Are we okay till here? Yes. Okay. Now, there is another kind of uh, another kind of possibility and that possibility is like question number 5. The Krai spins a coin and throws a dice. Now, he is two, doing two things. One, he is throwing a coin. So, when he throws a coin, head or tail is possible. But when he throws a dice, then you have the options like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, any doubt? No doubt. 
so the, in the first part what he is asking is that show that show that 12 mutually exclusive outcomes and list them in a table basically he is asking you for a table like this he is asking you to make a table like this so let us look at this table this is a table when a coin and a dice are thrown together have you understood yes now let us try to understand this table when i throw a coin the two possibilities are heads and tail but when i throw a dice the possibilities are one to six any doubt till here no no so these are the total possibilities which are which are available to the correct any any doubt till here no no would you be able to make a table like this yes okay now the first thing will what you'll need to do is make a table and then based on the table the answers will have to be done so 12 mutually exclusive outcomes we have listed in a table now we have to understand find the probability of scoring a tail and a one a head and an even number a tail and a five or six have you understood something yes so one by one we'll try to go through the questions that he is asking us so the first question is a tail and one so i need a tail and i need a one so how many possibilities are there sir mr sir yes sir how many possibilities where a tail and a one is possible so one 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 only yes. only this is possible so what will be the probability one upon six the probability would be one upon 12 any doubt no no sir because these are the world of possibilities this is the world of possibilities in the world of possibilities only 12 options are available any doubt till here no no in the second question he is asking a head and an even number a head and an even number so what are the possible sir so means uh, even number in the head you require a head and an even number so two this is possible head and an even number this is possible yeah, Head and a even number. This is possible. I'm sorry. Three upon twelve. So the answer would be three upon twelve, which would be equal to one by four. Any doubts at all? No doubt. Now let us look at the third question that he is asking. The third question that he is asking is, he says that I need a tail and a five or a six. Have you understood? Yes. Sir. So which possibilities are there? So only two. Only upon twelve. So the answer would be two upon twelve, which is one by six. So can you doubt? No doubt. So let us look at another dice question. I am skipping the question number six. I am skipping question number six because I want to do this dice and multiple scores together. Now what he is doing is he is throwing the dice and he is multiplying the scores. Have you understood something? Yes. So, for example, one time he added the scores, another time he subtracted the score. Now, what he is doing is he is multiplying the scores. Any doubt? No doubt. So, basically, what you need to do is you take these numbers and you multiply these numbers with each other. So, okay. for example, this would be one, this would be two, this would be three, this would be four, this would be five, this would be six. If you want to do this, this would be twenty-four, this would be twenty, this would be sixteen, this would be twelve, this would be eight, this would be five. Any doubt? No doubt. See, sir, I will have to correct this. This is a mistake. So, the table which is drawn, if you multiply the numbers, these are the these are the possibilities that are available. Any doubt till here? No doubt, sir. So, okay. Now, first of all, what we will have to see is that what are these possibilities? So, we have a one, we have a two, we have a three, we have a four, we have a five, six, and then we have a eight, we have a nine. We have a ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. No, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty, and thirty-six. So, have you understood what I have done? Yes. Sir. So, these are the only results of multiplication which are available. I will list them down. I'm sorry, eight. Nine, ten, twelve. Is there a snow? Fourteen is not possible. Sixteen, eighteen. 
20, 22 is not possible, 24 is possible, 25 is possible, 30 is possible, and 36 is possible. So, there any doubt in there? No doubt. Okay. Now, this implies that the number of possibilities of products are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, the total possibilities which are available are 70. Any doubt? No doubt. So, the first part. In the first part, what he is asking is, find the probability that the product is 12. So, find the probability that the product is 12. So, we will have to see that how many times uh, you can see a 12. I can see a 12 here. I can see a 12 here. I can see a 12 here. And I can see a 12 here. Any doubt? No, no. These are the only instances where I can see a 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 by 17 would be the answer. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, no. B, not 12. If it is not 12, it would be 1 minus 4 by 17, which would be 13 by 17. C part, less than 12. Now, when you want less than 12, when you want less than 12, then basically, you will have less than 12. All these numbers, All these numbers would be numbers whose product is less than 12. So, have you understood? Yes, sir. So, the numbers are 5 plus 4, 9, plus 3, 12, plus 2, 14, 16, and 170. So, the answer would be 17 by. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have counted the repeated numbers also. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, 10. And uh, 9, 5 is counted, 10 is counted, 6 is counted. So, for product which is less than 12, product which is less than 12, the numbers would be 5 plus 2, 7 and 1, 8. So, the probability would be 8 upon less than 12, 8 upon total is 17. So, the probability would be C part. So, then I am making general. Mr. Satya, Mr. Satya, am I audible? Yes, is it making sense or not? You want yes, all sir. the numbers. Yeah. You want all the numbers which are less than 12. So the product is less than 12. So the product is less than 12 in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You need not count the repetitive numbers. 2, 4, 6, 3, 6 are repeating. So they need not be counted. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 9. The rest of the numbers are either they are getting repeated or they are greater than 12. Have you understood? So in D part, what is asking is more than 70. Now, we will have to look for more than 17. Now, more than 17, more than 17 would be here. Now, out of these, without any repetition, we have 18, 20, 24, 25, 30, and 36. So, it will be 6 by 17 because this 20, 18, 24, and 30 are repeating. So, D part would be 6 by 17, E part is an even number. When we have to do for the even number, when we have to do for the even number, then we will only look at, actually for the mistake that I did was for C and D also, I should have only referred to this. I shouldn't have referred to the table that added to the conclusion. Anyways, an e even number is possible here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, 24, 30, 36. So, how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 12 by 17. Not possible numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, this makes sense. So, the answer would be 12 by 17. So, this is a, these are the questions that uh, we have discussed. Find the probability that the product is 12, not 12, less than 12, more than 17, and an even number. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, no, no. So, Mr. Satya, you need to do these questions again. Yeah? Okay. okay. Let's meet on Monday.